Don't be sad. We'll be right back. Oh, oh. Don't worry. I'm sure we'll have a great time. Huh? What's wrong? Are you upset? <laughs> What is this? <laughs> Today is gonna be my way. <laughs> Yay! My snacks! I'm gonna get them all. Huh? <laughs> What are you doing? Just eating. <sighs> Come here. Oh. Easy. Nanny's got an idea. I'll make a special serving tray. Any kid's gonna love it. The most important place is for a plate. Then we will draw a fork, a spoon, and a cup. Some tape will fix the tray on table. Now it won't run away. The meal is ready. Porridge goes first. Then juice. And here are the utensils. Enjoy! Ew! Gross! Yuck! I'm not gonna eat this! Don't! Play with food! Gross! You started it! Oh, I need to come up with something and fast! But shower first! Oh. All kids love sweets! Why not make them healthy? Aha! <laughs> my precious secret book! Hmm, let's see… Ah! My family's signature life hack! <laughs> I'm gonna win this cute little monster! Over! First, we'll substitute a candy with a grape! Now you just can't tell them apart! I'll leave the candies for myself! Um, mm, yum! Now let's cut an apple! I know a cool ninja trick! Just watch and learn! French fries packaging is a must! Squeeze in some strawberry jam! Looks like ketchup, huh? Okay, you won! You can have back your lovely sweets! Uh, uh, something's weird! But I'll give it a try! Um, hmm! Wow! It is so yummy! And these candies? Uh, they are the best! <sighs> I was born to be a nanny! Thank you, I'm full! I'll go clean my room! Uh, wow! She is so polite! Hold on! Something's off! I will find out what she's plotting at. I know a little secret! <laughs> My chocolate spread stash! Um, mmm, yummy! Aha! Gotcha! Don't eat chocolate like this! I'll make you a cool dispenser! Pour chocolate spread into the container. Now close it tight and it's done! Ah! I could eat it all by myself! Alright, let's see how it works! Awesome! Here you go, sweetie! Oh, she loves it! Huh? Oh no, 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 no! You need a wash! No way! I said I won't! Fine! But what if I dress up like this? I said no! You won't make me! Whoops! <laughs> Net is in danger! Somebody <laughs> help! Let's make a magic bath bomb using some baking soda and bright safe paint! Here go essential oils! Now mix it all well! Mmm, the scent is amazing! I knew this package would come in handy someday! Fill both halves of the plastic sphere and let them set! Easy bath! Check out what I have! Do you like it? Wait! Nanny, close your eyes! I've got a surprise for you! <laughs> Here it is! <laughs> Ew! Gross! What is this? Yuck! <laughs> Don't you like my surprise? You are good, Miss Prankster, but I have my tricks! Okay, this could be interesting! Wow! This does look cool! Now your favorite doll yeah. can have a real spa oh. treatment! Uh -huh. Dry her with a towel. <laughs> Much better! 
And what about you? Finally, everyone's clean and happy. <laughs> oh my, we forgot to brush your teeth. Here's your toothbrush. Come on. Hey, no way. Wow, a new TikTok dance. Hey, let me see. Oh wow, she's so cool. I want to repeat it. Let's create your own toothbrushing dance. <laughs> Are you ready? Now shake it and move it! Make everybody do it! Brush your teeth twice a day, people! <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh! Ah, it is so good outside! Look! I want that balloon! Gotcha! <laughs> Yay! We are gonna play together all day long! I love my yellow balloon! Yay! Make it come back! Oh, don't be upset! Let's find a new game! We can easily turn a regular balloon into a stunning doll dress! First, cut out the top and the bottom parts! And here's our doll model! Let's dress her up! Wow, it fits! How do you like your doll's new dress? She's so pretty! I'll brag about her in my Instagram! Aw, little vlogger! Why don't I have any followers? Hmm. I've got an idea! All we need is to put a bright sticker on your phone's camera. Now look here and smile. Pose and pose. You look amazing! Yay! So many likes! <laughs> See, you didn't have to be upset about anything. <laughs> I'm so tired. It's getting late. Let's go to bed. Warm milk will help you sleep well. I like it. I don't want to sleep. How about a good old fairy tale? Once upon a time. <sighs> hey, I'm bored. Oh, uh, oh, I know. We can make a super projector out of a few simple things. We just need to make sure everything holds tight. Now let's draw a cute little picture on top of the film with bright markers. So, wanna check this out? Um, I'm not sure what is it, but okay. Flash it with the light and you'll see magic. Wow, so cool! Finally, she's sleeping. I'd better get going. <gasps> Whoops! <sighs> that was close. See you next time. I got it. Okay, everything's clear. Yes, finally I'm ready for tomorrow's exam. Right, Susie. I'm going to check if you're ready for your confectioner exam. No peeking. <laughs> All right, Sammy. Ask your questions. <clears throat> Susan, what is the main ingredient in pumpkin pie? What? Is there such a question? <laughs> Yes, there is! Answer the question, Miss! Alright, I think it's... Pumpkin? Yes! That's right! Pumpkin! <sighs> Next question, young lady. How to make the best caramel popcorn? Uh... Let me think. Oh, place the kernels into the microwave for three and a half minutes? Make it four to get that lovely caramel coating. <laughs> okay, okay. Four, then. The last question! Who makes the best ever pancakes with syrup for breakfast? I think I know. It's Susan. <laughs> Thanks, Sammy. Mm -hmm. You're welcome, Susie. You're ready for your exam a million percent. You've got nothing to worry about. But I'm still a bit worried. Really worried. I know how to help you relax. Follow me. What do you have in mind? I'm coming. Whoa. It's soap, Sam. Why did you bring so much soap? Did you cut it? Yes! Try cutting the soap, Sue! Hmm? I've never done anything like this. 
Wow, it's awesome! Where did you learn about this? Where? On YouTube, of course. It's called ASMR. It's supposed to relax you. Oh, amazing! It really is relaxing. This is so unusual. I've got Sammy to thank for this. I've never thought of using soap this way. This is a real soap paradise! Ah. Oh, and this wonderful pink soap is turning into curly shavings! Hmm. So brain, so <laughs> Right, Sam. I think we cut all the soap in the house. All the soap? wash myself now! Uh, actually, we've got lots of pieces. I think my exam tomorrow gave me an idea. I know what to do. What to? We'll cook us some confectionery soap. Cook? I think this exam is having a bad influence on you. Trust me, Samuel. It's my turn to surprise you now. First, help me collect all the soap. Maybe we'll just go buy new soap. What do you think, Sue? Guys, today we're going to make soap shaped like the most delicious things in the world. We're going to need a pot with water, a spatula for mixing, a pizza knife, and of course, lots of soap. I'm not going to eat that, Susie. I brought a book in case you want to bake something real. <laughs> sure, Sam. Guys, be very careful doing this process. If the soap gets in your eyes, rinse them with water immediately. Let's get started! First, we need to melt the soap. Place the pot with soap over a bain-marie until it melts completely. Sammy, what confectionery shall we make first? I'll say in a moment. Perhaps, uh, it could be, yes, a cinnamon roll! That's right, a cinnamon roll! I love the smell of cinnamon! Great choice, Sam! Guys, give a thumbs up if you love cinnamon rolls like Sam does! We're going to need vanilla extract, golden coloring, and of course the cinnamon itself! We'll add some golden coloring into our mixture to make it look like cinnamon roll dough! We'll add some vanilla extract to make it smell nice. As well as some cinnamon. And mix it all through. Guys, the soap we're going to make will look and smell just like real food, but please don't try to eat it. Mmm, it smells so nice. Can you smell it, Sammy? Mmm, it smells like a real cinnamon roll, Sue! Now we're going to need a foil mold. It's easy to make it yourself. While pouring the soap into the mold, be careful. Don't burn yourself. Use a towel or an oven mitten. We'll add some more cinnamon to enhance the smell. Now, we need to wait a bit until the mixture partially sets. What about baking real cinnamon rolls after that? Of course, Sammy. I'll make cinnamon rolls for you. Could you check if the soap is set? I think so, Susie! It's ready! Great! Let's unroll the foil and carefully take out our aromatic piece. Here you go! And cut it into half lengthwise. Now we need to shape it like a cinnamon roll. We'll just roll the soft soap like this. It's easy, but take it slow. Done! We'll do the same to the second part of our soap. Like the real thing already! But to give them an even more realistic look, we'll mix cinnamon and almond oil. I'll give them a really good mix with a regular brush until there aren't any clumps. Then, 
then we'll apply the mixture to the rolls. Just like this. We can add as much as we want. And there's never enough cinnamon. <laughs> so add more! And for the finishing touch, we'll add soap glaze. We'll use white melted soap for that. Using a squeeze bottle, we'll pour the glaze all over the cinnamon rolls. There! Done! What do you say? Wow! Do they look like the real thing indeed? And they smell so tasty. Oh. You're a real magician. Can you make a whole cake? Hmm, Sammy. Let me think. I guess I can. So, guys, Sam wants to make a cake. I love cake! <laughs> Here's your hat, Sammy. Guys, give a thumbs up if you like cake, too. And we begin. We are going to need the same white soap base for the cake. Let's place the bowl over the bain marie. We're also going to need yellow coloring and vanilla extract. I'll add them to our mixture. And stir them carefully until the ingredients incorporate completely. Great! Now it's time for our soap pieces! Uh, here they are! Thanks, Sammy! I'll pour all the pieces into the mixture. There, until the last piece. And mix them all through, of course. Mixing is something you need to do a lot when you make soap. Wow, Sue! This looks like fruit pieces in the cake batter! Right! We'll pour the mixture into our mold where it needs to set. Be careful, it's very hot. Done! While our mixture is setting, we'll make the frosting. To make it, we'll need some dish soap. I'll pour it into the bowl with melted white soap base. And whisk it with a hand mixer. It looks like whipped cream, right? The mixture changed so much! <laughs> like real frosting! Susie, you know, a good girl will always allow her friend to try some frosting. Sam, you know it's not real frosting. I don't want to poison you. <laughs> oh, right, right. It just looks very convincing. Hmm, that's what we're aiming for. Guys, we'll take some of the frosting and place it into a pastry bag. We'll set it aside and add some pink coloring into the remaining frosting. Then mix it all through. Now we have two colors of frosting. I think it's ready here, Sue! You're right, it's ready! Time to get our cake out of the mold and decorate it. We'll cover the whole cake with frosting. The pink color will be the base. Guys, you can decorate the cake however you like and use any colors. What is your favorite color, by the way? And we'll make rosettes with the white frosting. This is my favorite part! Susie, how about using these pretty things? Great idea, Sammy! It'll make the cake look even more like the real thing! Have you got any round candies left? Huh, let me take a look! Here! I think they've expired! <laughs> take these candies! Thanks! They'll come in handy! They'll look really nice on top of our white rosette! Look, guys! It's just like a real cake! But I hope it won't stop you from making a real, real one! <laughs> Alright, Sam. Our cake won't fit into any soap dish, so we'll carefully cut it into pieces. 
Be careful with the knife. And ask an adult to help you cut the soap. Ah. And this is the final result. What a trick. I almost believe that it's real. Huh. What about natural sweets? Natural? Like what? Like honey. Honey? Honey made by bees? Oh no. I'm going to need my bee net. Um, where is it? Where? <laughs> Sam, where are you going? There won't be any bees. Oh, he left. Dear viewers, if you like natural sweets, then you're going to love our next soap. We're going to need the familiar soap base and this honey, as well as almond and orange oils. Adding the honey into the melted soap. Did you know that this pretty spoon is used for honey? Give a thumbs up if you did. It's very easy to scoop honey with this spoon. Let's pour a bit of our essential oils. And mix it with the spatula really well. It smells like honey, so bees must be nearby too. Sam, oh. it's store-bought honey. There aren't any bees here. Will you put your hat on? No, I'd better stay safe. As you wish, Sam. Guys, to make it smell even better, we'll add some orange zest. We'll just zest our little orange like this. Be careful with the zester. Don't hurt yourself. Mmm, it smells so nice. Done. Now let's pour our mixture into the mold. We've got this honeycomb mold here. Very pretty. Guys, you can make the mixture of a different color by replacing the white soap base with a transparent one. And adding some coloring. If there's some foam on the soap, rubbing alcohol will help. The soap has set! We've got honeycombs of two colors. Let's check it out! <gasps> Whoa, what a pretty pattern! And there should be a little bee on this one. Mm-hmm. <gasps> Beautiful! It looks like a real honeycomb and no bees! Now we'll place them into this little jar. It'll be easy for our guests to take soap out of it and use it. And each guest can have a soap bar of their own. A great idea, Susie. Susie, if you're making sweets, even soap sweets, you can't forget about the classic soap confectionery donuts. Oh, right, Sammy. We need to make delicious soap donuts. Will you need these sprinkles? Sprinkles? Hmm, why not? Let's take this donut mold and pour some sprinkles into each cavity. This should be enough. Donuts usually have sprinkles on top of the glaze, so we'll make a classic donut with pink glaze. I approve of the color pink. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I'll carefully pour a thin layer of pink soap mixture into our donut molds. Then we'll make the second layer. To make it, We'll add a bit of yellow coloring into white soap base and mix. This 
there! We get this mixture of a very beautiful color. Almost like donut dough. We'll pour it into the molds over the set pink layer. There. To the very top. Oh, I can't wait to see the result! You'll see it in a moment. Let's take it out. Awesome! What do you think? The sweet expert approved. I'm glad. We've made a whole pile of pretty donuts here. Thank you for watching, guys! Give a thumbs up if we've inspired you to make this soap. And send us some photos of your soap sweets that are too pretty to use. See you soon! Bye bye Sammy! Sammy, where are you? We're bored! What if he's hiding from us? Let's see… Sammy, are you here? What do you see? What do you see? Uh, just the paper, Sam. Uh, Where did he go? Oh, look! No, it's not him again. No, it's not him. What if he doesn't want to play? No, that can't be it. Sammy? Sammy? Sammy, Sammy, let's play! What? How did you find me? Ah! Sue, for how long are you going to chill here? Don't you know that I'm in trouble? Oh, hi, Sammy. What kind of trouble are we talking about? What? LOL dolls are torturing me with all that let's play! And you are entertaining yourself here with air processing instead of helping me! Oh, since you're too busy to play along with the dolls, you need to come up with an exciting activity for them. Trust me on this. And crafts from an air plasticine are very exciting. Well, I don't think that those fidgets would want to sit quietly and sculpt. What in the name of cookies? Hey, how did that get there? Well, it depends on what to sculpt, actually. They will hardly resist a new playground. Oh, you see? They are already helping. If that was a stone in my bucket, Susie, I'm actually helping too! Um, and where did the assistant go? Okay, this goes right here. There you go. The basis for the first swing on our playground is ready. Here, Sue! You work with plasticine, so you need a rolling pin. <laughs> You're just in time. But you miscalculated with the tool. <laughs> Such a wide plastic piece will work much better for us today. And we can even see how funny the shape of the plasticine changes. <laughs> you can make me a new hairstyle from it as well. I'm like Rapunzel, huh? Oh, could you lend me a couple of your beautiful strands for the craft? Uh so it's not my destiny to change my image today. You can have it. Um, Sammy. <laughs> well, okay. Come on, Sammy. I don't need much. Just a few to make the loops so that the seat of our swing can be holding tight. Like this. Is that what you call I don't need much? Everyone will laugh at me like that. <laughs> they will have no time to laugh because they will swing. The final touch. And we're done. Aw, what a beautiful swing. I like it. So fun. Uh, Susie, there's only one swing and so many dolls, if you know what I mean. Don't worry, Sammy. I always know what you mean. No playground can do without a proper seesaw. Whoosh. All right. Huh. Looks like you're making a solid base for it now. That's right, Sammy. One more piece and it's done. The next step is even easier. We'll make the central part of the seesaw and attach a couple of seats and handrails to it. All that's left to do is to put it all together. Come on, Sue, do it. I can barely hold it. Ugh. Okay, okay, got it. Well, now everyone can have some fun. Wow, that's, that's lovely. lovely. Let's try it. Woohoo! All right, I'll be on this one. I'm going to be on this one. <laughs> wow! Spin, spin! We, we want to spin! Ah, Susie, help me out! Sue to the rescue. <laughs> I also loved carousels when I was little. Oh, I wish I could ride them right now. This is so breathtaking. Yeah, the main thing is not to get dizzy. Whoa, whoa. Well, our carousel won't be spinning too fast, but it will defo be very bright. So now I need some kind of central piece. Here you are. 
Oh, <laughs> no, I need an axle. Can you help me with this? Oh, of course. Uh, when did I let you down? Uh, this is coming here, now this one. Here you go. That's just what I need. Oh, my fattest you. You could have just said that. Why, thank you. We're going to take a small piece, which needs to be fixed on this side with plasticine. Hooray! Yay! We can spin. Not so fast. The craft isn't finished yet. Don't be in a hurry. There you go. Sit here for a while and make us something beautiful. <laughs> well, well, yeah, keeping in mind the speed of the wind and the force of the rotation. What are you doing? Huh? I'm here to help you, because you're working so slowly, too impossible. What are you talking about? And what is this? Where is your help? Give me back my notebook. <gasps> now I see. Well, thanks, Sammy. All I need to do now is put it all together. Let's check. Yeah, everything works great. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Harrison! Oh, <laughs> it's a mini Sam. No, no! There can only be one me in the world! He does look like me, though. So, our playground is growing little by little. But we need a slide. Oh, I remember the slides in TV Daba. First, you go up for like half an hour. And then, wah! You're flying down at the speed of light. Ah, and you land right into the pool. Awesome. Seriously? In Tibi Daba, are the pools right on the playgrounds? Well, yeah. Pools with plastic balls. There are plenty of them. Balls, balls, balls. We were the pool with balls, too. Uh, who pulled my tongue? Come on, Sammy. That is such a great idea. Let's make a little bend. That should be enough. Slides ready. And we'll make a pool with balls on the count of three. I'm counting. One, two. <gasps> Shiver me, cheddar. On the count of three, indeed. Ha <laughs> ha. Did you doubt me, my slime friend? <laughs> Apparently, we're going to need a lot of balls here. That's it, that's it, guys. Easy. Put everything here. It's so fun. Wow. I and like so it. Many beautiful Woo balls. <laughs> Just don't push each other, do you hear me? Slide down and turn. Susan. Huh. Now they're taking my stuff. Sammy, don't be greedy. They will play with your skateboard and then give it back. What if they break it? Holy cannoli! Now you see? Oh, that slime artist. <laughs> it's good that I foresaw something like this and decided to make a skateboard. Phew! Took it back with a fight. Oh, this is so beautiful. What is it, Sue? You don't have a clue, oh quick-witted slime. Well, what if I do? This? Is it clearer now? <gasps> it's a skateboard. It's awesome, isn't it, guys? Then give us a thumbs up. Let's tighten the wheels a little so that they hold on better. And we're done. Ha -ha, let me try it. What? You again? Wait, wait. <laughs> oh, all this running around gave me one more idea. To make our playground even more beneficial for the dolls. Let's put a basketball hoop on it. It's fun and trains the muscles. Did I hear that right? Did you say basketball? I just love shooting hoops. Are you now? <laughs> Honestly, guys, this is the first time I've heard of this. Are you serious? I am widely known in narrow circles by the nickname Sly and Sam. Can you prove it after filming this episode? Well, I uh, haven't trained for a long time. I'll go now. That's just what I thought. <laughs> Hup, and the net is ready. We'll attach it to the shield. Oh, do you hear that? Looks like Sam's already shooting hoops. Ah, whoa! Ugh, <gasps> never made shatters. Uh-huh. Seems like our flying Sam did not fly up, but down. Oh, Sue, I don't think my skills are up to par. Then maybe it's time to start training them? Well, of course. Where's my dream team? <laughs> Let's not interfere with their workout, guys. Besides, I have some plasticine left. So let's make something fun. Uh, not that. Uh, probably not this either. Now we're talking. Sue, I'm thinking that the spring would help me jump higher. What do you say? You literally read my mind. If we glue one end of it to the base and the other one to our giraffe, we get another great rocker. Oh, how cute is this? Forget about jumping. I want to swing on it. But Sue, there are no bushes or trees on our playground. I'll be right back. What? Where did he go? Here! This bucket and a shovel will create a real miracle! Well, let's see. Hey, you forgot the bucket. 
Ah, oh, thanks. Let's dig some holes here and there first. And now let's add the magic seeds from the bucket, like this. Well, we can't do without life-giving moisture. Let's water our garden properly, like this. And a little bit here. Uh -huh. There you go. <gasps> you see? I told you! It's magic in its purest form! Guys, do you agree with me? What are you saying? You didn't see everything properly? So, we'll fix it. Yay! <laughs> this is so much fun! I have to try all the entertainment! <laughs> Woo! Ah! Seems like something went wrong. Sue, I had a strange dream that I was playing basketball and suddenly I was in the hoop myself! Hmm, interesting. And if I do this, do you feel something? Oh, oh, oh what's wrong with me? Why am I spinning? <laughs> Looks like it's all about this mini Sam. Wow. Oh, my feta. See you guys soon. Give us your thumbs ups. Bye bye. Uh huh. Hmm. Hey, Susie. What are you up to? I want to build a new house for our hamsters, but I can't decide on colors. Seems like a no brainer to me. Pink, of course. Okay, but what about the walls? Let them be pink as well! Um, the windows? Sure thing, pink! <laughs> Sammy, do you remember that there are many other colors? But pink is the best color in the world, because it's mine! Okay, I'll accept this all pink design, but only if you help me. Then I have a condition too! Let's rename pink to Sammy's! Deal! Let's get started! Woohoo! Hi, guys! Today we're gonna make the most beautiful pink mansion! Hello! We agreed to call pink Sammy's color! Oops, my bad. Hmm, where's the cardboard? I'm sure it was here somewhere. <laughs> Isn't this what you were looking for? Wow, Sammy! You've covered the walls and the floor! It came out amazing! I don't like wasting time, you know. We'll make a lot of cool rooms today. A stylish kitchen, a big bath. Oh, I can't wait to see the result. Susie, what are you doing with that cutter? You should always be careful with it, guys. I think such a gorgeous house should have beautiful shutters. For this, we need to cut the window frames out of foam board. What an amazing idea! Do you agree, people? Then subscribe to our channel! Our window doesn't fit Sammy's style. Now we're talking! Here we go. A little push. Great! I counted eight windows in total, Susan. I guess this should be enough for our hamsters. And this is where we'll make the kitchen. Do you know what I like about that kitchen? It's color! <laughs> And that it's sparkly, right? <laughs> um, instead of laughing, you should have paid more attention to our craft. Try to be like me. Thanks, Sammy. I just didn't want to make design decisions without asking. The great master of decorations. The great master of decorations thinks our kitchen can't do without a bowl of strawberries. I love them. Still, the most important thing in the kitchen is the stove. You can't cook a dinner without it. As an independent expert, Sammy the Slime allows you to proceed. Cause the kitchen came out really great! Copy that! Thank you, Mr. Expert! <laughs> Guys, would you want to live in a house like this? Then give us a thumbs up! People say that pets are similar to their owners. That means that our hamsters like watching cartoons as much as I do! As far as I can see, your favorite one is the Little Mermaid. It's only one of my favorites. What a whimsical hat you have, Sammy. It looks exactly like a coffee table. Oh, I wouldn't say no to a nice cup of latte right now. <laughs> I get it, I get it. I'll go put the cat 
Avalon. Thanks, Sammy. You're the best. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh! We didn't make a bathroom! Where will our hamsters do their business? <laughs> right on the floor? <laughs> it's unacceptable! And where will they sleep? There is no bedroom! <laughs> Calm down, Sammy. Everything has been thought through. Look, this is gonna be the little bathroom. And check out all these sparkly colors. Oh! I know, Sue! Just give me one! I wonder what he has on his mind this time. So look, I thought this might come in handy for that cute little bag. Really? Let me see. Okay. We can put this all around the edge. Oh, this does look lovely. Am I right, guys? Then give us a thumbs up. Oh, a sparkly bath is so fashionable. What a new interesting solution. <laughs> and what do you say now? Oh, my Santa. That's too much for me. But for the hamsters, it's perfect. <laughs> Maybe you should do something useful for the craft? What? Are you saying I'm useless? Wow! What meticulous work, Sammy! Cool! Well, there you go! As you know, guys, we have many pets. It'll take a while to name them all. We can't imagine our life without pets, so... Why don't we add a fluffy friend to this house, too? A fluffy friend? And who will it be? Well, I thought you might figure that out. Of course! Oh, I'm just a little bit off the course. <laughs> Sammy's always getting in the way. Let's continue. This bed is going to be gorgeous. Hmm? What's wrong? Uh, uh, you need this too? Okay. How about this one? Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. The bed is ready. It seems like something has been torn here. I want to show you a good old trick. Are you ready, guys? Yay! Great, right? There we go. And one more nice pillow. And here comes a fluffy friend! <laughs> Sue, should I call for the hamsters? Is everything ready? Sammy, don't rush. We need just a couple more minutes. Don't worry, guys. There isn't much left. Let's work on the facade a bit. Did you know that there are houses with very unusual facades? For example, they consist of zero waste and recycled color panels. Oh, that sounds eco-friendly. The giant slime head is coming. Whoa! <laughs> Sammy, thanks for bringing these. By the way, do you know the most famous building with columns? It's the Colosseum. It's an oval amphitheater in the center of the city of Rome. Does it mean our mansion is just as gorgeous and an imposing structure as the Colosseum? Why not? <laughs> Besides, the great Sammy built it. What if in the hamster world this house will become so famous? That others will come here from all over the world to see it. And the hamster students will study the pink house architecture. Oh, and it will be easy to find my portrait in every book. Hey, Sammy, come back to reality. We've just finished. Yeah, it looks great. But I think something is missing. Er, uh, like what? You'll see that in a moment. Aha! Uh -huh. Wow, it's a great idea, Sammy. How come I didn't realize that? Now you're talking, things got a lot better. Do you like it better, guys? I could live in this house myself. Let's check it out now. Everything ready? The owners can't wait! Yes, Susie! Is coffee ready? 
As ready as he can be. Here you go, buddy. This is your sparkly kitchen coffee. Oh, I think he loves it. Be careful. Hey, he's in the living room. Is this couch comfy enough, buddy? <laughs> oh, I bet it is. Coffee smells coffee. <laughs> okay, don't eat that. Everything seems to be great, right? I guess he's hungry. What's wrong, coffee? Want to go upstairs? Guys, while I remember, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything. We've made so many houses. You gotta check out those videos. Ah, he seems to like his new bathroom. Hey, it's not that time just yet. Oh, I guess we should have made the roof. <laughs> That's right, buddy. That's your new doggy. Now Coffee wants to take a nap. Tell him bye-bye. Go on, Coffee. You deserve some rest. Oh, Sue, he's so sweet and so careful. Well, of course. It's a new place for him. Hmm, I guess now he somehow got lost. Or maybe he just needs a bedtime story to have some good sleep. <laughs> I can do! See you soon, guys! Coffee! I'm coming! Hi, guys! I found something incredible! Here! Look! Do you know what this is? These are Orpies balls! I need to find out what they're doing here and why there are so many of them! <laughs> I can hear Sue singing in the bathroom. I can't hear water running, so she isn't taking a shower. Shall we go and see what Sue's doing in there with the Orbeez balls? Sammy! What do you need all these Orbeez balls for? Uh, Sammy, haven't you heard about the Orbeez challenge? Uh, I'm surprised. I can't stop thinking about it ever since I heard about it. I really want to try it. So all these Orbeez balls finally came in, and I can go ahead and do it! Do! Do what? What do you mean, what? First, we'll make a lot of Orbeez balls in the bathtub. Wow! Are we going to take an Orbeez bath? <laughs> Possibly. Awesome! Then we'll pour those puffed up balls into a large plastic bag, and we'll get an Orbeez mattress! Wow! That's a challenge I like! It's all about relaxing. Wonderful. It's more fun to do things together. Especially challenges. Yahoo! Okay, while our Orbeez balls are puffing in the bathtub, we'll make a giant plastic bag for them. <laughs> Sue, here's the baking paper you asked for! But, uh... What's it for? We're going to make a mattress, not bake cookies. Sammy, don't you remember? Some plastic, baking paper, and an iron. Uh, I see you remember this combination in any of our videos. Write your guesses in the comments. Yes, yes. You should think about it too, Sammy. And I'll start. So we're going to need a large piece of clear plastic. Like this. You can make the mattress to fit your size. <laughs> It'll be a whole Orbeez field for me. <laughs> right. Okay, now I need to secure the edges. To do that, I'll take a piece of baking paper and fold it in half. Hey, Susie, let me help you! <laughs> there, I'll press it well. Now it's done. Thanks, Sammy. <laughs> now let's wrap the edge of the folded plastic into the baking paper like this. And then, be very careful with this step. Ask an adult to help you. We need to go over the baking paper with the iron, like this. Close to the edge. Huh. Sue, so what is it gonna give us? This, Sammy. The edge of our bag will be sealed. Oh, oh, I remember! We made the Nutella wallet like this. Yeah, Sam. And now let's seal the edges on all sides. Make sure you leave an opening on one side. Something like this. Time to pour our Orbeez balls inside. Oh, yeah! 
Let's see if it's ready. Ah, <gasps> oh, great! The Orbeez balls have popped up! Make way, Lasso! Yes! It's amazing! <laughs> yes! I need to give it a try! <laughs> try what? To submerge my hands deeper! You're gonna like it! <gasps> wow! Wow! And swoosh! <laughs> Ooh! Wow, guys! These look like fruit ice cubes! And these look like gummies! But you can't eat them, of course! Awesome! Like if you agree! Uh, okay! It's time to continue! Huh? Continue what, Sammy? Making your Orbeez mattress, of course! Oh, yes, right! <laughs> we'll use this to pour our balls into the bag! Listen, Susie, I still don't get it. What is this mattress for? Oh, I thought it was obvious. Huh. Are you gonna sleep on it? No. <gasps> Am I gonna sleep on it? <laughs> Perhaps, but no. <sighs> then what for? <laughs> because it's fun, Sammy. Oh, yes. Fun is the best reason. I'm glad you approve. Ah, <sighs> I think that's enough. I only need to seal the opening. There we go, carefully. And done! I need to set the iron aside after switching it off. Now let's distribute the Orbeez evenly. Oh, yeah! There, I'll smooth it out onto the floor. Oh, we need to keep our pets out of the room, otherwise someone can puncture the mattress and the Orbeez will spill! Oh? Oh, I thought they could enjoy it, but better safe than sorry. Oh. This is awesome! Make way, Sue! <laughs> How much space do you need? I have space! Oh, wow! This feels great! I can just lie and do nothing. But you are doing something! We're doing the Orbeez Mattress Challenge! <laughs> oh, right! It's even better! Relaxing, fun, and something useful! We did good! We sure did! Squish! Squish! Hey, you look! Ah! Susie? Yeah, Sammy? Let's do another challenge! <laughs> I don't mind. Guys, give a thumbs up if you want to see even more challenges on our channel! Suggest ideas and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to watch us full 